<laughs> you guys are so silly. Whoa, look at that. Ow. I'll regret this. Hi everyone, I'm Jess Chia and this is almost every way to remove nail polish. Nail polish is a great way to add a pop of color to your look, but when it comes to taking it off, there are way more methods than you might think. We picked 19 different methods and yeah, some of them are a little bizarre, but in the name of beauty, I wanted to try as many as possible. We're also going to be timing each of these methods to see how efficient they are. Before we get started, I just want to note that anything that's not sold and marketed as a nail polish remover could have very different results from person to person, so just keep that in mind. Acetone Nail Polish Remover For removing regular nail polish, we should try the method most people are familiar with. Acetone Nail Polish Remover is really easy to use. You just dampen a cotton pad, apply it to your nail, hold it for about 10 seconds, and then wipe it off. It's the stuff we all know and love, and it works quickly. Acetone is a very powerful solvent, which means it can dissolve other substances. It works by dissolving the nail polish film, which is then able to be wiped away. This took off four layers of regular nail polish in about 25 seconds, so that's gonna be a really hard time to beat. Overall, it's a very drying product, so regular use on your nails is gonna show up. Dermatologists I've talked to recommend that you probably don't use this more than once a week and that you give your nails a break every couple weeks. We knew the alcohol-based products work to remove nail polish, so we wanted to try a few. I'll regret this. Any lovely perfume smells bad when overly sprayed. Perfume definitely worked. I was so impressed with it. Whoa, look at that. This is crazy. You guys, look at this. It took my nail polish entirely off and I would absolutely use this if I were traveling or on the go. The only downside is it's probably the most expensive method you could use, but on the upside, I also smell good, so. Next up, let's look at non-acetone remover. Non-acetone polish removers usually contain ethyl acetate as their active ingredient, and they were actually developed for use with nail extensions because harsher acetone can make those extensions become brittle and lift. Using non-acetone nail polish remover is pretty much exactly the same as using acetone nail polish remover. You're going to dampen the cotton pad, place it on your nail, and then wait for about 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds before you start rubbing it off and removing that nail polish. Overall, I'd still choose acetone nail polish remover because I don't use it that often and I'd rather get the job done quickly, but it's a great option if you have brittle nails and you're worried about them breaking and splitting. On to the next. Nail polish removing lotion. Ah, uh, nail concierge is here. I've never tried nail polish removing cream before, but I hope it works because it seems gentle and I'm all for that. The cool thing about this is that you can do all your nails at once. You just let it sit and then wipe off all of your nail polish in one go. You apply a thick layer on your nail plate. The consistency is exactly like a buttercream frosting. And it smells kind of sweet because a lot of nail polish removers kind of stink and this one actually smells pretty good. You have to let it sit for one to three minutes. It might seem like a long time, but because you can apply it to all of your nails at once, it's not as bad as you'd think. There it is. Look at that. It also left the skin around my nails looking shiny and nourished and healthy. Can I keep that one? I was just surprised that it was as efficient. It didn't require rubbing, scrubbing, anything like that. Literally the nail polish just came off. I was just posting about that. I really liked it. <laughs> Next up, vodka. Oh, things have taken a turn. I can only assume someone on Reddit thought this would be a good idea, so let's go for it. When I initially did this, I felt like it didn't work at all, but it did remove the very tip of my nail polish. It did work to some extent. It just didn't work quickly enough and it didn't work efficiently. So I've given it six minutes. I'm gonna do one last scrub. It's almost nothing. And the amount of time it was taking to take this off, you could easily have run to the store and found something that works better. So vodka, good for parties, not good for nail polish removal. Sorry, mom. Toothpaste. Wait, what is this for? This one I'd heard rumors that it would work, so I had to try it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Toothpaste is an abrasive, which is why it's great at removing stains from your teeth. The question is whether or not it's abrasive enough to remove nail polish too. I want to give this every chance. I believe in this. I let it set for about three minutes to give it ample time to work. It smells lovely, it smells minty, it's a lovely experience. After three minutes, I tried to remove it with a toothbrush, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. When nothing happened, I followed up with a cotton pad. I'm glad I tried it because it definitely made sense that it could work, but since it didn't work, I won't be trying this again. I'm happy to report that my fingernails are germ-free. I, I don't think my dentist would be proud of me for doing this. <laughs> Next up, more nail polish. This might seem a little counterintuitive, but apparently adding a fresh coat of nail polish to an old one can remove that bottom layer. 
we decided to use a clear coat so we weren't adding more color when we were trying to remove it. I've used this technique before to fix smudges, so I had high hopes for this one. One of the main ingredients in nail polish is actually ethyl acetate, which is the same ingredient we found worked in the non-acetone remover. If you wipe it away before it has time to dry, it dissolves the hardened nail polish on your nail and you can wipe it off. This technique absolutely works, but it's as hard as giving yourself a manicure, and I wouldn't want to do a full hand, it's just not practical. Next up, deodorant. I think we've, we've gone down the rabbit hole. The theory behind using deodorant is that it's another alcohol-based product. Whoa, smells like a boy's locker room. This actually worked. I was really, really shocked. Whoa, look at that. It didn't work so efficiently that I would be able to use it to remove all of my nail polish. It definitely left some around the edges, but I would definitely use this in a pinch and you don't have time to run out and find the nearest drugstore. Next up, soy polish remover. Soy nail polish removers usually take a really long time to work. I've used soy nail polish remover before. It's great, but it takes forever, so I'm mentally preparing for that. I mean, we're talking minutes, not hours, but I was thinking we were in for the long haul with this one. This is a stereotypical natural, quote unquote, nail polish remover. Most of these use oils to soften and dissolve the nail polish the same way that acetone would. The main ingredient in this nail polish remover is castor oil. The benefits of a soy nail polish remover is that it's much more gentle on your nails and skin. Your nails will look more hydrated after and your skin will look healthier as well. The experience wasn't wildly different than using a traditional nail polish remover, but it did take a lot longer. About 55 seconds. If your nails are brittle, it's definitely worth taking the extra time to make sure that you're taking care of them. Next up, Windex. I mean, everyone's seen my big fat Greek wedding, right? I just treated this like a regular nail polish remover and sprayed it straight onto the cotton pad and held it on my nail and started scrubbing after a while. If this doesn't work, my nail will be so shiny. But it didn't take the polish off whatsoever. Great for getting any gunk off of your nails, but definitely not gonna do the job when it comes to removal. Next up, acetone pads. Should I do a card trick with these? Like. <laughs> it's not that cool. It's called a gel removing pad, but all that means is that it's cut to the right size for using with foils and clips. I'm gonna use it with regular nail polish. Okay, that actually came right off. That was about 15 seconds. I was shocked that it worked so quickly because usually you have to do at least a little rubbing and scrubbing. This one just worked immediately. I, I don't know how else to explain it. The great part of this acetone pad is that they're super portable. The bad part is you can't actually use them everywhere because they do smell. Yeah, it smells like alcohol. It smells like acetone to the nth degree. Of all the methods I tried, these were bar none the fastest. Let's talk about taking off gel nail polish. Unlike regular nail polish, gel nail polish is cured, usually by UV light, so it's more resistant to chipping and it's harder to remove. I got both of my thumbs painted with gel nail polish in the same shade of red to try two different methods of removal, foils and clips. Both of these methods are basically trying to keep the cotton pad in contact with your nail. Regardless of the method you choose to take off your gels, the first step is to use a file to rough up the top coat. Um, of all the things that we have to do today, this is the thing that I was dreading because it feels so disgusting. Filing your nails isn't painful, but I personally hate the feeling. Ugh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. For gel nails, you have to use acetone nail polish remover because nothing else is going to be strong enough to do the job. So I'm just gonna use regular foil wrap, trim it into little squares, and then use the foil to keep the cotton pad secure on my nail. I feel like I have a little burrito on my finger now. The nail clips are performing the same function as the foil, but they're much faster to put on and they're reusable. <laughs> These are so silly. The nail clips were super easy to use. All you have to do is soak the pad in acetone nail polish remover, place it on your nail, and slip on the clip. The next thing you'll do is wait for 10 minutes and just let the acetone do its job. Yay, 10 minutes! This is an orange stick. You can buy it at pretty much any beauty supply store or drugstore, and I'm just using the blunt end to lift off the softened nail polish. I think the nail polish came off more easily when I used the clip because the clip held it on more snugly and uniformly. The foil worked too, but it was just a little bit patchy. Overall, I preferred the nail clips. They're reusable, they were more efficient, but if foil's all you have around your house, that'll work too. Next, let's look at a few DIY home remedies. 
Welcome to my cooking show. At Allure, we don't tend to recommend home remedies because you never know how your body will react. With that said, here we go. I tried peroxide and warm water, vinegar and lemon, and salt water. For the salt water, I dumped about a tablespoon of salt into warm water. For peroxide and warm water and vinegar and lemon, I used a 50-50 solution of each. I made it all of three seconds with the vinegar and lemon. Ow! Ow, that hurts. One of these hurts. It immediately burned and I had to take my finger out. With the peroxide and warm water and salt water, I waited for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna play words with friends. <laughs> it's my turn. Let's do it. And then I started scraping it off with an orange stick. I was most impressed with peroxide and warm water. It definitely worked, but I still had nail polish on the tips of my nails. It didn't look totally clean. Salt water was much less impressive. I hate this so much. <laughs> it definitely softened my nail polish, so I was able to scrape off a few layers, but it didn't take it all off. Peroxide and warm water was the most promising of these methods, but with so many better methods out there, there's not a lot of sense in trying it. It took 27 minutes. I think it's safe to say no one has that amount of time. It also looks terrible. Next up, hand sanitizer. <laughs> this is just a normal size bottle of hand sanitizer. I didn't think this would work because I use hand sanitizer all the time and my nail polish never comes off. It was kind of alarming how much this worked, but didn't work enough that I would use it as a nail polish remover. Whoa, look at that. It like peeled off the tip just entirely. Theoretically, you could use this to clean up a few chips of nail polish, but I wouldn't recommend that. Next up, rubbing alcohol. There are no instructions for rubbing alcohol because it is not an official nail polish remover, so we just tried to use it like a traditional one and then waited and waited for four minutes to see if there were any results. Nothing has come off yet. I mean, barely. The pad was a little pink, so I could tell that some nail polish had been removed, but when I looked at my nail, it looked like I had a fresh manicure still. It was super odd. I was totally expecting this to work. My guess is that one of the big issues with straight rubbing alcohol is that it dries super quickly. So it was probably half evaporated by the time that I reached four minutes anyway, and it was also very drying to my thumb pad. Next up, hairspray. I, by this point in the video, was so exhausted, I just wanted to be done. I was so impressed by this. Ta -da! Look at this. That was under two minutes. This removed my nail polish completely and cleanly, and then it made my skin look kind of shiny. It's definitely pretty sticky, but not like syrup sticky. So you definitely want to wash your hands afterward. I actually thought the hairspray was awesome. It's another thing that you have in your cabinet that might work in a pinch. The big question after trying all these methods is, which ones worked best? All the regular nail polish removers worked. Acetone, non-acetone, soy, and lotion nail polish removers. I was really impressed to find that deodorant, perfume, more nail polish, and hairspray also did a great job at removing nail polish. If you're in a hurry and you don't have nail polish remover on hand, Either of those would be a great alternative. Look at this. Of all the traditional nail polish removers I tried, the gel polish removing pads and the lotion were my favorites. The pads were incredibly fast and the lotion was really gentle on my skin. So clearly there are a lot of different ways to remove nail polish and each method has its pros and cons. I say take what we've learned here, experiment, and find the one that works best for you.